growing a business from scratch. I know I look at this unconventionally. I'm not an accountant or a financial advisor, but I look at this practically from a lifestyle point of view. What is the lifestyle I want and how can I make the most of the money that I have? Hey, I'm Serena.Ryan. I run Dotterized e-commerce agency. I'm a mum of two. Hey, my son said, hey mum, don't you like spending time with us? He stopped me in my tracks to realize I'd had it all around the wrong way. Growing a business from scratch is not easy. And when over 60% of businesses fail in the first five years, fundamentally, I see that as a problem I want to help fix. There are so many things that I wish I knew when I started out and that is what this video is about. These tips in this video are not designed to replace professional advice. They are from lived experience that I hope you can gain lots of value from to inspire you to go to those places that will help you not just create a business but grow a business from scratch that will help you have the lifestyle that you want. Tip one, get a good accountant and not just any accountant, but an accountant that you understand, know and trust. Truly, when I say understand your accountant, it would have to be the number one thing that you should be able to do. Asking a question of an accountant and getting an answer is one thing, but getting an answer that you understand is so much more important. Ask questions repeatedly until you get the answer that you understand. And if you find you're still struggling with your accountant, then don't hesitate to go and shop around. Find an accountant that you can understand because you understanding your business numbers is fundamentally number one to you being able to thrive in business. Tip two, build a business that you love. This is easier said than done when you're first starting out. And in my circumstances, I really was keen to get an income and I didn't think about that at that point in time when I started. Being able to love what you do will help you stay in business longer because you'll stay there on the bad days and not just the good. As a part of that, remind yourself that your business is there to enable the life you want. So it's okay if you create a business that is not open 24 seven because that is not sustainable long term because you do need at least seven hours sleep a night. Take your time figuring that out. And if you're not sure, this leads me into tip three and one of the game changers that happened for me. And that was finding the local free resources that could help me with my business setup. Our local government here, I'm in the suburbs of Sydney, has some amazing resources through Business Connect that fundamentally helped me to identify my business purpose and also what would be sustainable with regards to my business structure and my pricing. And all those resources are available for free. This month is November 2022 at the time of publication of this video and it is Small Business Month and I strongly encourage you to check the link in the description for free resources that are available for you to be able to go to events for Small Business Month. I emphasize they're free and there are some hybrid events and you don't necessarily need to be based locally to gain access to those events for free virtually to help you with your business setup and being able to stay in business. My next tip, being connected with others in business. It is a game changer. And being able to be connected with people a few steps ahead of you in business will also give you a support network for the good times and the bad. And those times when you're stuck and you just need an answer from someone else who can help you. That is why those business events can be really valuable to attend. Other alternatives can also be being a part of membership groups and I've got details of a membership group that I host which are in the description and there are others that you can be a part of as well that will help you. Surround yourself with those like-minded people can give you an increased chance of staying in business and having fun and enjoyment along the way. And that would be my next tip a thing I believe we forget when we create business. It's very easy to miss the reason why we are in business and being able to keep a balance on that and not falling into the hustle culture of overworking ourselves. Putting yourself in a situation of doing that increases the likelihood of failure. 
and no one wants that. So when you're carving out time for your business, carve out time for you to be able to replenish you, look after you, and when you can do things that help you on a personal level, that will also help the business. And that is something I wish I had done sooner in business. The business is there to help with you personally. You should be looked after. And that is important when we look at things. Make sure that the business is set up to be able to pay you before you pay anyone else. And the reason I say that, even if it's looking at you initially as the business owner on minimum wage, you fundamentally have to be gaining from the business. And going and getting professional support on where that tipping point is for your business when it's set up for you to be paid is an important milestone that you should not compromise on and you should get that professional advice on how much money you need to be earning for you to be paid so that you can go and do the things you want to do. And initially those things might be as simple as being able to go and have a cup of coffee in a cafe. And that is fantastic. Knowing that the business is there to support you will actually fundamentally shift things and increase your chances from not just growing your business from scratch, but enable you to have a business that is thriving. That would lead me to the next tip. Avoid going into debt if you can help it. And again, this is something you need to talk to your financial advisor and your accountant about. But going into debt puts an added pressure on you, which if you do without an informed decision can add unnecessary stress. Alternatives to consider is to look at grants and check out the links in the description on where you can go and look for grants that can help you with your business when you're starting out. Being able to do things that enable you to minimize the debt and the pressure on you can increase your chances of not just starting a business from scratch, but growing that business from scratch into something that's thriving that you enjoy. And I'd love to know if there's a tip in this video that you found to be your favorite, comment below, let me know in the comments. I want to hear what your tips are as well, if there's any that you would add to the list. Money should be here to give us our choice and freedom of what we want to be able to do. If you found this video valuable, awesome, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I release videos weekly for tips and advice on how to make the most of your budgets and business and life.